Good evening, everyone. How are you? Happy Good evening. Hi, happy Monday. Welcome to another week. <laughs> I believe this would be the last week for the module. So welcome to your last week. <laughs> How was the weekend? Tell me. Tired, exciting, boring. <laughs> Normal. <laughs> Normal weekend. <laughs> Stay at home weekend. It was Father's Day. Did you celebrate? No, you didn't celebrate. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Okay, before we start with today's class or with today's topic, we're going to be reviewing a little bit of the past uh, grammar tense that we saw, which was verb to be, right? Going to with verb to be for future tenses. So, I am gonna be asking you guys one or two questions in that tense, and we can go from there, okay? Um, let me just share the screen. Le voy a compartir la pantalla en un minuto. Just a moment. And I will share it right now. Let me know if you see it, please. Yes. Perfect, thank you. All right, so before we start with the topic for today, let me see, today is Monday. What are your plans for the week? That's gonna be the question for everyone. What are your plans for the week? Van a estar contestando esta pregunta ahorita para iniciar, para repasar. What are your plans for the week? What are you going to do all week, okay? And for this, you're going to need at least five to six sentences. Así que les voy a dar un par de minutitos. Les voy a dar tres minutos. Son las ocho y tres. A las y cuatro podemos iniciar. Van a tener tres minutos y van a escribir de, de cinco a seis oraciones. Y tienen que escribir sus planes de la semana usando going to y el verbo to be. Right? For example, this week. Today is Monday, right? So this week, I am going to start my diet. <laughs> And I am going to cook my own food because if I buy it, I will never do it. So I will cook my own food. I am going to cook my own food this week. I am going to cook it. I am going to do exercise 30 minutes, only 30 minutes each day from, from Tuesday to Friday. Okay, that's my plan. Probably, probably I am going to go to sleep early and I am not going to Um, lose any time of sleep, okay? Pueden incluir oraciones positivas y oraciones negativas para hablarme de qué cosas van a hacer y qué cosas no van a hacer esta semana. Pueden hablarme de, a partir de mañana martes hasta el domingo, okay? Así que cinco o seis oraciones usando going to y el verbo to be para futuro. A partir de ahorita tienen tres minutos, ¿de acuerdo? Cinco o seis oraciones. Teacher, no importa que no tengan secuencia. No, it doesn't matter. Porque mm -hmm. ya cuando hablamos de planes, es más como una lista lo que hacemos, right? Mm -hmm. Plans. Uh -huh. Remember, you can include both positive and negative sentences to make that list.
We have two more minutes. Tenemos dos minutos más. Remember five or six sentences. Cinco o seis oraciones, ¿de acuerdo? What are your plans for the week? What are you going to or not going to do during the week? We have one more minute before we start. Tenemos un minuto más antes de iniciar. Okay, and um, three minutes have passed. Let's see who the ones that are ready, raise your hand so we can start with you. Los que ya están listos pueden levantar la manita y vamos a iniciar con ustedes, ¿de acuerdo? Veamos. Who wants to share? ¿Quiénes quieren compartir? ¿Qué van a hacer esta semana? What are your plans for this week? Iniciamos con Kevin Daniel. Ok, good evening everyone. Uh, for this week, and I'm going to go to university because I must do my final exams but I have a problem. I am sick. I have flu. Oh, no. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, Daniel. You made five sentences. That's re really good. Next, vamos con Elizabeth del Carmen Mejía. La escuchamos, Elizabeth. Good evening. Good evening. I'm, I'm going to work on week. I'm not going to rest on week. I'm going to go to Monte Cristo on weekend. I'm going to study English class on week. I'm not going to the <clears throat> play soccer. All right. <laughs> Five sentences. Very good, Elizabeth. Thank you. Vamos con Karen Sofia. What are you going to do this week? What are your plans for the week, Karen? Okay, I am going to study for a math test. I'm going to plan plans. Uh -huh. uh, 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 I'm going to go to the university. I'm going to cook for lunch. I'm going to drop my sister at the school. I'm going to study English. Very good. Thank you, Karen. Nice. We're going with Catherine Irasema. What are your plans for the week, Catherine? I am going to study. I, I, I am going to, um, perdón, you can. I am going to go on vacation this weekend. I am going to college on Saturday. Uh, I am going to, I am going to work on my final projects. I am going to go to the beach. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, now we're going with um, vamos con Kelly Magdalena Rivera. Kelly, what are your plans for the week? Um, tomorrow I'm going to go to skate with my plots. And this Wednesday I'm going to eat cake for my dad's birthday. And I'm going to go to the church with my parents. It's a lot of <laughs> All right, then. Thank you. Marbeli Yoselin. What are your plans for the week? I am going to cook for my family. Mm -hmm. And I am going to watch the movie at Cinema in San Miguel. And I am going to swim on the on the beach. No, 
Okay, swim in the ocean. Solamente. All right. Thank you, Marveli. We're going with Marcelina. Marcelina Amalia, what are your plans for the week? I'm going to go in the tourist time. I dinner to shopping in the Western day. I'm going to the cinema twice day. I'm going to study in the Saturday. Okay. Acordémonos, Marcelina, de siempre incluir el verbo to be. Yo no puedo decir I'm going, tengo que decir I am going. Okay. I am going. Yes. And I am going. El verbo to be. Y si es tercera persona, por ejemplo, María is going. Pablo is going. Entonces, alguna forma del verbo to be siempre va a ir antes del going to. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Vamos con Natalie, uh, Monica Marisol, perdón. Monica, what are your plans for the week? Um, this week I am going to the beach. I am going to the cinema on Thursday to see an action mob. Okay. Y había hecho otras, pero, o sea, en todas las tenemos que ir incluyendo el going to. Sí, todas son con going to y el verbo to be. Uh -huh. Ajá, entonces yo no las había hecho con el going to, solo había hecho this week I can go to the movies with my family. Um, o sea, sol, no sé. Solo se los agrega realmente. I am going to go to the movies. Uh -huh. I am, uh -huh. Solo se le agrega el auxiliar y el verbo to be. Ok, entonces sería on Saturday I am going to go to work. Uh -huh. Sí, así. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. And I will leave at noon to be old to, uh -huh. the, to go with my mom to eat. All right. Very good. Yes, Monica, Eso that's es. correct. <laughs> Pero estaban bien. Thank you. Very good. Okay, now we're going with um, Rafael Cruz Amaya. Rafael, what are your plans for the week? I am going to swimming on the weekend. I am, going the weekend? To, okay. I am going to movie television. To watch family, television. Watch Watch mm -hmm. television, my family. Mm -hmm. I am going to farmer Saturday. To the farm. farm. Ah, in the farm. Okay, thank you. Very good. We are going with Rina de los Angeles. Rina, what are your plans for the week? And this week I am going to exercise and wow. I am going to visit with my family. Uh, on Saturday I am going to go i am going to eat pupusas okay and and first i go i i am not going to lay in my jaw <laughs> okay and i am not going to drink soda perfect very good Rina. thank you ruth abigail what are you going what are you going to do this week Ruth Abigail, what are your plans for the week? Y si no vamos con Sandra Noemi. Sandra, what are your plans for the week? Sandra Noemi está por ahí. Hola, hola. No te la escucho, pero está bien, está buena también. Pero voy a intentar. Ok. Sí, vaya. I am going to play on the day. Mm -hmm. I am going to cook cookies. Mm -hmm. Bake. Cookies. I am going to come. Bake. Hornear. Bake. 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 Uh -huh. bake. Bake cookies. Mm -hmm. I am going to bake the dog. Mm -hmm. I am going to skip. Hasta no sé qué se, qué, cómo se pronuncia hasta. Until. Until very late. Okay. <laughs> I am okay. going to visit my parents. Mm -hmm. Me faltó una. All right. Estamos bien. Thank you, Sandra. Very good. Thank you. All right. So before we move, now we can move on. Let's see. Gracias a los que participaron. Bear with me for a minute. Now we're going to be, um, we have here 
we have some exercise activities. Okay, this is for vocabulary mainly. Activities that we do mostly on vacations, right? Or on weekends. Activities. This is the vocabulary of activities. Okay. Um, for example, we have go hiking. Okay. Go hiking is hacer senderismo. To go hiking is hacer senderismo. Okay. And we have two, four, five, seven, nine, eleven, ten, eleven. We have eleven more. So vamos a ocupar one, two, three, four, five people. Ocupamos a cinco personas. Okay. We need five volunteers. Cada uno va a leer dos de las actividades que están ahí. Y, si, y van a hacer una oración, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, go hiking, have fun. I'm going to have fun in the party, ¿ok? Una oración. Leen las dos actividades, hacen una oración, ¿ok? Levanten las manos para irlos asignando. Ocupamos um, cinco voluntarios, les dije, ¿verdad? Seis, creo. Ok, so, Jancy, you will be number one, que serían los primeros dos. Natalie, Patricia, el tres y el cuatro. Eh, Karen, Sofía. 5 y 6. Luego vamos con Marbelli. Marbelli se va a decir el número 7 y 8 de la segunda columna, que son los primeros dos de arriba. Y luego vamos con Marcelina, usted dice 9 y 10. Y Elizabeth del Carmen dice los últimos dos. ¿Ok? Iniciamos. Eh, las dos frases ¿Sí? van a ir en una, hora, una sola hora sin o... No, solo tienes que leer las dos frases y hacer una oración con cualquiera de ellas. Ah, ok. Go hiking, have fun. Mm -hmm. um, this Tuesday, this Thursday, we are going to have a fun day. Very good. <laughs> Thank you, Jancy. That was a good one. Then we go with number two. Veamos. Number two. Es tiene el micrófono cerrado. Number two, no la escuchamos. No sé si era Natalie. Natalie, no tenía usted la dos y la, la, la número dos. Yo entendí que la. Uno, dos. 5 y 6. Ok. Veamos de los que no tienen asignado algo. ¿Quién me ayuda con ese dos de en medio? El número dos como que se nos durmió por aquí. Veamos. Um, Le vamos a pedir ayuda a Kelly. Sí. <risa> ok. Thank you. Meet new people y play tenis sería. A mí me dijo. Kelly. Ah, ok. Eh, meet new people, play tennis. Uh -huh. Vamos a una oración. Um, tomorrow I'm going to play tennis. Very good, thank you. Number three. See a movie, take a class. Uh -huh. yes. I'm going to take my English class this week. Perfect. Thank you. Number four. Go swimming. Mm -hmm. Have a picnic. Correct. Uh, tomorrow I am going to go swimming uh, on the beach. Very good. Thank you. Number five. Our friends play volleyball. Mm -hmm. La oración es: I am going to play volleyball. Perdón, I am going to play volleyball in the Saturday. On Saturday. On Saturday. Very good. Thank you. And number six, la última. ¿no? See a play, take a picture, take pictures. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take picture for graduation, my son. Okay, my son's graduation, repeat. I, I'm going to take pictures. 
for my definitive. son's, my son's for, graduation. For my son's graduation. Thank you. Si a play es ver una obra. Ok, para los que se están preguntando, si a play es ver una obra, como una obra de teatro, ¿de acuerdo? Si se fijan, cuando nosotros hablamos de actividades, es lo mismo que cuando hablamos de hobbies, ¿ok? Tenemos dos opciones en que nosotros podemos expresar esta información. Podemos utilizar un gerundio, que es lo mismo que un verbo con ing al final, es un gerundio, o pueden utilizarlo con infinitivos, ¿ok? Cualquiera de las dos versiones son correctas y las pueden utilizar para expresar actividades o hobbies, ¿ok? Right? Um, por ejemplo, si les preguntan, what is your hobby? What are your hobbies? Y si tiene más de uno, ¿verdad? Puede usar los dos. Por ejemplo, my hobbies are to watch TV and to sleep. Infinitivos. O puedo usar gerundios. My hobbies are watching TV and sleeping. O uno y uno. Right? That's up to you. Es tu decisión. Pero siempre tienen las dos opciones. Gerundios o infinitivos. Para expresar esta información. We're going to do a reading exercise right now. So I'm going to need six people. Voy a ocupar seis personas. Cada, cada lectura que está acá se va a hacer entre dos personas, ¿de acuerdo? So, ocupo seis manitas, veamos. Veamos, Rafael, usted va a leer la parte de Kelly, donde está, desde donde inicia hasta donde dice went, ¿ok? De ahí vamos a tener a Rina. Usted va a leer desde donde dice She looked fantastic hasta el final. ¿Ok? Se termina de ahí. Se termina hasta ahí. Rafael y Rina leen el párrafo 1 de Kelly. Y luego tenemos a Jancy. Usted va a leer la primera parte de Robert. Jancy, usted lee desde el inicio hasta... Eh, esta. Down. Broke down. Ya si usted lee del inicio, se dice car broke down. Luego tenemos a Elizabeth. Usted lee desde I called hasta el final del párrafo de Robert. Ok. Elizabeth, desde donde dice I called hasta el final. Ok. Entonces el tercero, que es Erin, lo van a leer entre Natalie y Patricia. Usted va a leer desde el inicio de Erin hasta Tent. Tent. Y luego Marbelli, usted va a leer desde then hasta el final. Desde then hasta el final, Marbelli. Ok. Iniciamos. Rafael. I had a great a weekend. I went, I went go to my best friend, Helen, with weddings, she got Mary at home all her friends and family went thank you she, Rina. she looked fantastic she, she looked fantastic she wore a beautiful dress after the ceremony her parents served for serve a wonderful meal. I am really happy for her and I really like her husband. Thank you, very good. Number two, Robert. Robert, I had an awful weekend. My friends and I went to a rock concert. I had the terrible time. It, it took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert end, our car broke down. Thank you. Ended. Our and concert ended. Yes. Thank okay. you. Next, Natalie. No, yo. No. ¿Quién? Elizabeth. Ah, perdón, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Vamos. Uh -huh. I called my parents and they came and got us. Uh -huh. We finally got home at 10 this morning. I, I am so tired. <laughs> Thank you, Elizabeth. Very good. Vamos con Erin. Erin, I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. First, we put up the tent. 
Thank you. Ten, we built a fire, cooked dinner and told stories. We got up early on Sunday and went finish a coach a fish. And went fishing. <laughs> fishing. Mm -hmm. A coach a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. Thank you. Very good. Okay. Take a, take a mental picture of these conversations, right? Of these stories. Take a mental picture, take a, a natural picture, right? Tomen captura de imagen o tomen la foto. Porque esto van a ser a continuación ustedes, okay? Van a hablar de su fin de semana. What happened during the weekend? Pero no quiero que me den oraciones aisladas. Quiero que me cuenten una historia, algo en particular. Si no hizo nada el fin de semana y pasó de la cama al sofá, del sofá a la cocina y viceversa, se repite el ciclo, pues eso me va a contar. Y me va a decir, pues la verdad que no tenía dinero, mis, me gasté la quincena y entonces ya no pude salir. <ríe> okay. No importa, sean creativos, pero traten de que salga una historia. Breve, pero que sea una historia, ¿de acuerdo? Lo que queremos es que podamos darle seguimiento a oraciones. In my case, I'm going to give you my example. Um, on what is it? Where was it going? What was I doing on the weekend? Oh yeah, I remember. <laughs> I remember now. On Saturday, I was really angry because <laughs> I had to wake up early and I didn't want to wake up early. But um, we have a, um, a maid that she comes every Saturday and to clean all the house because the house is big. So, and I don't clean. <laughs> so she comes every Saturday morning. And I had to wake up and open the door. And of course, I couldn't go to sleep. I couldn't go back to sleep. So I was angry oh, all Saturday morning. I was angry for no reason. And then in the afternoon, I wanted to go out, but my family didn't want to go out. <laughs> so I decided to go out alone. <laughs> I went by myself. And then I decided I was going to take a cup to drink a coffee. And I went to La Gran Vía. And there is a place called Ben's Coffee on the second floor. And I was buying a coffee when I saw that across from there, there is a taco place. It's called Taqueria Los Hermanos. So I was like, I'm drinking coffee, but I want to eat tacos. <laughs> so I went to Taqueria Los Hermanos and I had to wait for um, almost two hours because it was really crowded because it's Supposedly it's a famous place for tacos. So I waited for two hours in the line <laughs> to eat the tacos. And finally, when I ate them, it didn't take me like half an hour. So I waited two hours to eat only for 30 minutes. <laughs> so that was my Saturday. What about you guys? Okay? De eso se trata. Que ustedes me cuenten algo, algo, cualquier cosa curiosa, chistosa, triste o feliz que les haya pasado el sábado o el domingo. ¿De acuerdo? So... It's 8.30, le voy a dar 5 minutos, así que las 35 podemos iniciar, ¿de acuerdo? If you need help with vocabulary or verbs, you can ask. Si necesitan ayuda, ¿cómo se dice algo? O cómo, ¿Cómo se dice un verbo en pasado? You can ask. Remember. Disfrutar, como se dice. 
enjoy. Se lo voy a poner ahí en el chat. Enjoy. So, enjoyed. 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 Uh -huh. El pasado sería enjoyed. Ahí se los puse en el chat. We have one more minute, so try to wrap it up. Tratamos de resumir ya la historia. Nos queda un minutito. Ok, it's 8.35. Veamos, son las 35. Veamos quién quiere iniciar. Who wants to tell the story first? Yo ya les conté la historia de mi weekend. Ahora ustedes. <ríe> Mónica Marisol, iniciamos con usted. I had a very nice weekend. On Saturday, I went to church. We had a youth service and then I went with my cousin to dinner to Pusas. And on Sunday, I didn't go out because it was a very rainy day. It's true. It was very rainy. <laughs> Thank you, Monica. <laughs> that was good. Very good. Nice. Um, now, as a suggestion, como sugerencia, en, hay una oración que me dijo, and we went to dinner, pupusas. Ahí puede hacer dos oraciones. We went to dinner and we ate pupusas. Okay. Y ahí ya, la, ya queda conectada la oración. All right. Other than that, it okay. was very good. Very good job, Monica. Okay. Thank you. Thank Vamos you. a ver. Who's next? ¿Quién sigue? Veamos. Volunteers to share your stories. Let's see. Marcelina. Marcelina, Amalia, estamos listas. Sí. Veamos. I had an interesting weekend. On Saturday, it was rainy. I woke up late, but then I went shopping to Metro Center. And 
and I dinner pusas. I and had dinner. I had. Perdón, I ate, I ate pupusas for dinner, sorry. I ate, ate dinner pupusas. Pupusas for dinner, ajá. And on Sunday, I went to church and to travel to Metapan to visit my family. Okay. Thank you, Marcelina. Very good. Nice. Thanks. We go with um, Karen Sofia. I had a great weekend. I spent time with my family. I ate meat so. Then we went at the bar. Before we go, chilate after the dinner. Hey, that's good. <laughs> nice, Karen. Thank you. Very good. Jancy Andrea, please. Okay. Last Saturday, I cooked at 7 a.m. and I got and I got up early, but also I get up late <laughs> because that day I want to go with my mom to the airport to drop off my grandmother, but I couldn't because I got up late. Oh no! <laughs> After that, we didn't go to church for the same reason because the afternoon catch up with us. Uh -huh. And um, we have the lunch early around 11 in the a.m. And in the afternoon, I went to my grandmother's house to feed my aunt's dog because they had left alone, her alone. And we have a fun moment with her because she was sad. And then we returned to the house around, around the five and a half in the afternoon. And for the dinner, we prepare we prepared uh ¿cómo se dice? torta. Así es el nombre, torta. <laughs> torta. Mexican tortas. <laughs> uh, Mexican torta at home and we ate it. All right, very good, Jancy. Great story. Thank you. Next, we're going with Catherine Irasema, please. Espero que se me escuche porque tengo una tormenta de fondo. Okay. Um, on Saturday, I went to dinner with my friends. We went up to parking and walking around the town. Uh, then, we, then we went to the Osicala Culture Fest, Festival. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That was short, but that's okay. <laughs> Thank you. Next, Kevin Daniel, please. Kevin, ¿está por ahí? Teacher, I have connection problem. Oh, okay. Can you try right now? Are you going to try, Kevin, or...? If not, we're going to move to Rina de los Angeles, please. Okay, so on Saturday, I went to the Cucuzas in Santa Tecla in a place second floor. And I enjoy with the women. And I enjoy with my husband. And then I visit with my parents. And I relax all day. In the afternoon, of course, I drink coffee. With my family. On Sunday, all day, I clean my house because on Saturday, I don't do anything. And I finally very tired. <laughs> I ended up. And but then finally, I ended up. Terminé. I ended up very tired. Terminé bien cansada. ¿Cómo se escribe? Ended. Como end, de final, ended. Ended. Uh -huh. Ended up. Con la preposición up. Ended up. Terminé. I ended up tired. Mm -hmm. Very good, Rina. Nice. Then we're going with um, Sandra Noemi, please. Yo hice okay. So, on Saturday, I needed to rest because I had a very heavy week at work. 
Ah, pero eso no es bien poquito. Eso solo es una oración, Lady. <ríe> That literally one sentence. ¿Qué pasó con las demás? Me cuesta. Mm, pero tuvo a cinco minutos. No, solo eso había hecho. <ríe> Vaya, está bien, pues. De acuerdo, thank you. Vamos con um, Natalie Miranda. Natalie está por ahí. Sí, sí, perdón. Okay. Es que no podía activar el micrófono. <risa> bueno. Uh, yesterday I went to the dentist, but I don't like to visit because it scared me. Later in the afternoon, my mom and I visit oh, visit my mo my grandmother then we went to the supermarket and como se dice compramos we bought we bought we bought fried chicken and y compartimos and we shared and we shared with family At night, my my family and I going to went eat pupusas in the restaurant. Uh -huh. No going to went 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 to eat pupusas. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very good. Thank you. Next, we're going with Elizabeth del Carmen, please. Se me cayó el cuaderno. <laughs> <laughs> I got up early on Saturday because I got I up. Pasado. Got up. I, I got up. Uh -huh. I got up early on Saturday because I bought a present for Father's Day at the shopping center. After that, I went to my parents house and um, I took I took out para decir a ellos I took them out I took them, them. out uh -huh. I took them out for lunch we visit this las cascadas visit uh -huh. las cascadas de San Pedro restaurant They saw Ilopango Lake. They swam in the pool, so they enjoyed uh, the travel. We returned at home so tired. I no sé si lo que, lo que le dijo a, but we felt so happy. Okay, yes, we felt so happy, correct. <laughs> Very good, Elizabeth, thank you. And then we're going with Sara Maria. Uh, I have a very busy Saturday. I went shopping at the super in visit, in visit a friend who is six. When I go home, I made dinner for my son. I feel as very very tired, no sé, I cansada. Felt, I felt, oh, I, so felt I feel felt, I felt, I felt very tired. Very tired. <laughs> All right, yes, correct. Thank you. Okay, and last, let's see, who has not, quienes no han participado todavía, levanten la mano before we move to the next exercise. Quiero ver, Kelly Magdalena ya participó. No. Ok, Kelly, cuéntenos. <laughs> ok, I had a bad weekend because I did sick. I my was... mom, I was sick. My, I was sick. Mm -hmm. My mom gave a pills for I take with water. 
after I did best because I did go to the eat food Mexican at I Plaza went. Mundo. And when I did go, I went to eat. Okay, I went to eat food Mexican at okay. Plaza Mundo. At night, it was raining a little hard. So I had a coffee and then I went to sleep. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thank you, everyone who participated. Y ahora que ustedes empiecen a mencionar eso, vamos a hablar de statements with the past tense of the verb to be. Okay. ¿Cuáles son las tres formas del verbo to be en presente? ¿Quién me lo dice? Um, are. Correct, Jancy. Thank you. Am, um, is, are. Son las tres formas del verbo to be en presente. So now we're going to talk about the two forms of the verb to be in past. Okay? So I'm going to need two volunteers, one person to be Chuck and the other person to be Melissa. I van a disculpar que se ve borroso, pero sí se entiende bastante. <laughs> so, Monica, you're going to be Chuck y ocupo una persona más para ser Melissa. Um, Jancy, please. Iniciamos, Monica. Mónica. Lo siento. ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál teacher, perdón? Usted es Chuck. Ok, ya, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. yes. no. Where, where, where? Uh -huh. Sí. Yeah, where yes. were you born? Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the US? In the US. In the US. No, I came here in 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? College. College? College. No, college. College. college right college. away. College? Mm -hmm. Where away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years yes. first. Will, your English is really good now? Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but it was... I was. Kid. I was for kid. Thank you. Very good. Okay. Nacer. En pasado, I was born. Yo nací, I was born. Okay. Esa es la combinación, verbo to be y el verbo nacer. I was born, está diciendo yo nací, ¿ok? For example, I was born in San Salvador, but my father was born in La Libertad, ¿ok? Y esta pregunta, where were you born? El primero where es la pregunta dónde, y el segundo where es el verbo to be, que acompaña el verbo nacer, where were you born, ¿ok? And then, Fíjense acá, le dice, you were pretty young. Estabas bastante joven. El verbo to be, ser o estar. Ok, entonces le dice, ah, oh, you were pretty young. Estabas bastante joven, estaba bien jovencita. Right? You were pretty young. Um, siempre que ustedes vean la palabra pretty antes de un adjetivo, quiere decir bastante de ese adjetivo. Pretty young, bastante joven. Pretty old, bastante vieja. <laughs> right? Esa es la combinación. Y luego ella dice, yes, I was only 17. Sí, yo solo estaba de 17 años. All right? En Salvador decimos tenía 17, pero en realidad los años no se tienen. <laughs> Uno es de, lo, de edad. Right? Um, and then, my English wasn't very good. Mi inglés no era muy bueno. My English was not very good, right? So that's the preamble. Y acá tenemos unos statements, okay? So we have two, four, five. Ocupamos cinco lectores. Cada uno lee la afirmativa y la negativa. Afirmativa y negativa, okay? Um, acá no lo pueden ver, pero son estos mismos pronombres que están aquí. Estos de acá justamente, okay? So... Rafael, you would be number one, Sara number two, Rina number three, Kevin number four, and Marbelli number five. Iniciamos. 
was born in Korea. Where I, I, I was born in Korea. Ah, es que lo primero no me sale. Por eso les decía, son estos mismos que están aquí, ¿ve? Ah, ok, yeah, sorry. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. De nuevo. I was born in Korea. Uh -huh. uh, you were pretty young. No, acá. Aquí. El negativo. Ah, ok. Ok. I was, I was, ah, uh, no, I was What's wrong in, I was, I wasn't wrong in the United States. Ok, thank you. Number two. You were pretty young. Uh -huh. You were very old. Thank you. Number three. She was 17. She wasn't in college. Thank you. Number four. We're born in the same year. We were. And where? We were. Es este mismo sujeto acá. We were. Oh, we were born in the same year and we weren't born in the same country. Thank you. And number six. They were in Korea in oh, yeah. 1998. Mm -hmm. They weren't in the USA in 1998. Thank you. All right. Contractions. Was not. Pueden contractarlo diciendo wasn't. Were not. Pueden contactarlo con weren't. Ok, para los negativos. Estructura guía, sujeto, más was o were, más un complemento. Ok, a veces lo van a combinar con otro verbo, a veces no. Ok, va a depender del contexto. Pero en general, tienen esto, por ejemplo, Alejandra was a good doctor. Si se fijan, estoy hablando solamente con el verbo to be. Ella fue o, él es, o ella estuvo. Él fue o estuvo, ¿ok? Y acá tenemos la guía. Sujeto más was or were más complement, ¿ok? So, subject plus was or were plus complement. ¿Cómo sé cuál voy a utilizar? Was or were. Porque la regla me dice que para you, they y we, o resumiéndolo para segunda persona y plurales, voy a usar were. El verbo to be para segunda persona y plurales es where, en pasado. Y el verbo to be para primera y tercera personas es was. I was, she was, my father was, the dog was. ¿Ok? Primera persona I y tercera persona he, she, it ocupan was. Segunda persona you y todos los plurales igual ocupan where. They were in the house. We were in the house. You were in the house. ¿Ok? Entonces esa estructura guía, el sujeto, dependiendo de qué sujeto ocupe yo acá, así va a ser el que voy a escoger este verbo to be. ¿Ok? And we have four sentences. Tenemos cuatro oraciones acá. ¿Quién me ayuda a leerla? Veamos. We need four volunteers. Uno cada uno. Veamos. Yancy, you will read number one. Elizabeth del Carmen, you will read number two. Sara Maria, you will read number three. And Rafael, you can read number four. Let's start, Jancy. Okay. Alejandra was a good doctor. Thank you. Number two. Number two, tiene el micrófono cerrado. Pablo was a very good friend. Thank you. Number three. My friend were nice, nice, noisy. Noisy. My friends were noisy last night. Thank you. Y ella acaba de hacer algo importante. Dijo, my friends were noisy. Siempre para los plurales la S sí suena, sí se pronuncia, ¿de acuerdo? Si no, estoy hablando en singular. El number four. Mateo was in the pretty yesterday. De nuevo. Mateo was in the pretty party. Party, perdón. 
Mateo was in the party yesterday. Thank you, very good. Okay, so let's make sentences. Ahora vamos por nuestra cuenta a hacer oraciones similares a estas. Con el verbo fue o estuvo. Cero estar en pasado. Was or were. For example, I was very angry on Saturday morning. I was very angry Saturday morning. Yo estuve enojada todo el sábado en la mañana. Right? So let's try to make sentences. Vamos a hacer una cada uno. No tienen que escribirla, no es nada complicado. Solo siguen la oración. Sujeto. Teacher, ¿puede poner de nuevo la estructura, please? Yes, ma'am. Acá está. Ok. Yo les acabo de decir, I was angry on Saturday morning. Veamos, Sara María. Una oración. Thank you, teacher. Hagamos una oración, Sara. Ay, me he quedado en blanco. <risa> um, y ahí está lo que yo le acabo de mencionar. Hay cuas. Hay cuas. Very hungry. No. Y ahí ella dijo su oración. I was very hungry. Yo estaba uh -huh. bien hambrienta. Uh -huh. I was very hungry. Correct. Was... Yes. Thank you. Rafael. Está en mute, Rafael. Uh -huh. Ahora sí. Um, I was very happy. Very good. Thank you. Okay, next we go with, um, veamos, Marcelina. One sentence, una oración, Marcelina. Teacher, ahorita me quedo en blanco. <laughs> Miren, estas son las cosas que necesito que me digan. Miren, Miss, yo no entendí. <laughs> o Miss, repítalo, por favor, ¿verdad? Good. Vamos con Jancy, please. They were. <laughs> they were. <laughs> they were in the school yesterday. Very good. Thank you, Rina de los Angeles. I was very tired. Correct. Thank you, Marbelli. I was in the stadium yesterday. Thank you. Vaya, vaya. <laughs> Monica, please. I was very white. Very good. Thank you. Natalie, Patricia. I was sick yesterday. Oh. Okay, correct. Thank you. Uh, tengo otra pregunta. Dígame. No le entendí cuando usamos was, cuando usamos were. Good, ok, ahorita lo repasamos. Ok. Se, se dividen en, en los pronouns. Segunda persona, you, las dos, singular y plural, porque you puede ser singular y plural. Segunda persona, you, y los plurales es where. ¿Qué están acá? You were, they were, we were. Ok. Acortémonos que a los personal pronouns también se les puede cambiar el nombre y en vez de decir they o we o you, no, el you no cambia, pero we o they les pueden cambiar nombres. Yo puedo decir, por ejemplo, my friends were at the party on Saturday. Estoy hablando del sujeto they, ¿ok? Entonces cualquiera de los equivalentes plurales o segunda persona llevan were. Y primera persona yo y la tercera persona que son él, ella y eso, he, she, it, ocupan was. I was angry. He was very handsome. She was really crazy, right? Entonces, primera persona y terceras ocupan was. Segunda persona y plurales ocupan where. ¿Ok? Ok. Y significa yo estuve y ¿qué más dijo? Fuimos o estuvimos, fui o estuve, ah. fueron o estuvieron, fue o estuvo. Ah, okay. uh -huh. Yes. Así como en presente es ser o estar, en pasado es fue o estuvo. Uh -huh. ah, okay. ok. 
that's gonna be it for tonight. I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good night. Tenga feliz noche. Good night. Thanks. Bye. Bye.